The direction your bed faces could be bad for your health. That is according to a new study, which claims homes layout could have a big impact on your well-being, your finances, even your work productivity. And here to discuss this morning is the study's lead author, John Lippman. John, thanks so much for joining us. You bet, Rachel. John, I have to be honest, when it comes to these things, I can be such a skeptic. So I just want you to talk about this study first. It's so interesting, though. We all should be skeptics. That's what science is for. And this study has collected 18 studies done over 40 years around the world that have each looked at elements of the ancient system of Maharishi Vastu. And what they found is that it's real, it's effective that if you build a house ground up using these principles of Maharishi Vastu, that it, it benefits mental and physical health in many, many ways, lowers stress and increases happiness and even productivity. But you can get some of the benefits from just rearranging the direction your bed faces or your desk faces. And this is not a matter of belief. This wow. is science. Wow, okay, so I wanna get to the rearranging in a second, but for me and our viewers, can you just explain what is Maharishi Vastu? Vastu is the ancient system of holistic wellness-based architecture. It's existed probably for thousands of years. We all know the famous sage Maharishi Mahesh Yogi who brought out transcendental meditation. He spent 20 years reviving this ancient science to make it fully effective. And so we identify that by putting his name in front of it. Okay, so John, the study notes that your home's design can affect your well being and your finances. Yeah. How is that? Well, the how is not so clear. The first step in science is to find out whether something really happens. And the research has documented that finances, quality of sleep, the soundness of our sleep, our mental health, our blood pressure, how sharp our mind is, are all affected by factors in the house, such as the direction that key furniture faces. And so we have some insights into the how, but that's something that I think neuroscience has to spend the next 20 years really understanding. But for now, what we know from science is that the associations are real. So now that we know that, what suggestions do you have for improving our home's layout? Like, so what, what direction should our beds be facing and how should furniture be arranged in our homes? Pillow to the east or pillow to the south. That's for sleeping. For working or studying, we should be facing east or facing north. When we work facing east or north, we have a sharper mind, we have greater brain coherence, we complete the tasks faster. When we sleep with the pillow at the east or south end of the bed, based on six different studies done over 40 years around the world, we find it's associated with such things as uh, reduced blood pressure, increased mental health, and a clearer mind. And this, so this now is not a matter of superstition or belief. There's now scientific validation. Wow, John, this is fascinating. So where can we, because unfortunately, of course, we have just a limited time here, where can we continue to read and study more about this if we want to make those adjustments in our own homes? Go to maharishi.org. Okay. Maharishivastu.org. Wow, so interesting. You've given me a lot to think about. During our interview, I was like thinking, what way am I sleeping at night? And I think my pillow is to the south, so that's good, right? That's, that's beautiful, that's fantastic. Okay. Uh, that promotes longevity, so good for you, Rachel. <laughs> awesome, I didn't even know that I was doing that. Thank you so much for coming on this morning, and we really appreciate your time. You bet. Thanks.